This is the introduction of the paper entitled Training Code Switching Language Model with Monolingual Data. This is the outline of this presentation. We firstly introduce the task and formulate the problem. Then, we go through the process of training language model using monolingual data, and we introduce generating pseudo-data and proposed approaches. The experiment will be presented in the end. Code switching is about using two or more languages in a single sentence or document. However, code switching task suffers from data insufficient issue. Comparing the data quantity, code switching data is rarer than monolingual data. Monolingual data is easy to collect, and we wonder if it is possible to take advantages of monolingual data on code switching task. In this article, we target neural based language model as the task. We train a code switching language model without using code switching data. We firstly formulate our problem. We collect three sets of data. The first and the second set are monolingual text in different languages. The third set consists of code switching sentences, which are mixed in languages of each monolingual data. The monolingual sentences are used on training stage, and code switching sentences are used on testing stage only. And our goal is to train a code switching language model. The RNN language model can be formulated as this equation. We multiply an RNN hidden state to a projection matrix W to obtain a word distribution in time step I. Then, gradient descent is used to update the parameters of RNN with cross entropy loss function. Consider two languages in code switching language modeling. The numbers of words are k and m in the vocabulary of each language, and the k plus m is the vocabulary size in the corpus. Then, the output projection metric W is partitioned into W1 and W2, with each color indicating the latent representations of each word in language 1 and 2 respectively. Let's see what would happen if we simply train the RNN language model on the monolingual data set of language 1 and language 2. Our training data is pure monolingual text in language 1 and language 2. The projection metric is randomly initialized. A simple diagram of it is plotted below. When we start to train the code switching language model, the input text would be sample from the first monolingual set and the W1 is updated. Or the input text would be sampled from the second monolingual set, and the W2 is updated. After n steps training, the distributions have arbitrary shapes based on their language characteristics. However, without singing bilingual word pairs, the word distributions may converge into their own shape without correlating to each other and we showed the practical distribution with PCA visualization here. At the inference stage, we use code switching sentences for testing. When the prefix word in language 1 is fed into the model, the output word distribution would focus on the words in the same language, which implies the hidden state HI is more similar to the representation in W1 space. And because the hidden state is dissimilar to W2 space, which makes language model do not switch from language 1 to language 2. However, an ideal language model should consider the probability to predict words which belongs to the other language which means the hidden state should be similar to the representations in both languages' spaces. So, we assume that overlapping spaces benefit code switching language modeling. To this end, we attempt to bring two spaces W1 and W2 closer to each other. And here we introduce some simple ways to obtain language mixing text. With the pseudo-training data, language model sees some code switching sentences which is supposed to bring two language spaces closer to each other. To synthesize pseudo code switching data, we can change the language of words in monolingual text. For example, 
we can sample a sentence from the first text set. Then, we can substitute some words to the other language with a predefined probability. The new sentence is added to the original corpus as a training data. However, this method needs an additional mapping dictionary between two languages. So here we introduce the other method to synthesize pseudo-code switching data. Without having an additional dictionary, we could apply sentence concatenation to achieve the goal. With sampling two sentences from each monolingual set, we concatenate two sentences, and the synthetic results are added into the original training data. By doing so, language model can see some mixing situation during training. Also, we propose some methods to train a code switching language model without using real or synthetic code switching text. As we mentioned previously, the overlapping spaces may help on code switching language modeling. The first proposal is to minimize the distance between two language spaces. We use symmetric KL divergence and consent distance as the metric. Both of them are treated as a regularization term during optimizing code switching language model. The other proposal is to normalize the projection metric in training stage. That is, each word representation is divided by its L2 known to possess unit known, which implies that the RNA hidden state would be similar when we train language model using monolingual text only. And let's see our experiment. We use a code switching corpus named CME as our experimental data. CME consists of two main languages. The first part is monolingual text, containing pure Mandarin and pure English transcriptions, which are used in training stage. And the second part is code switching text, which is for testing. Our baseline language model is trained without seeing code switching sentences. We also utilize pseudo code switching data for training. The evaluation metric is perplexity. Lower perplexity indicates higher confidence in the predicted target. And we show three kinds of perplexity. The first, CSPPL is the perplexity on code switching sentences. The second is CSPPL, which stands for perplexity on code switching point. Code switching point occur when language of next word is different from current word. And the third one is perplexity of whole corpus. Due to the difference between CSPPL and CSPPPL, these perplexities are separated measured. Clearly, improvement in CSPPL do not necessarily translate to improvement in CSPPPL, as code switching sentences often contain a majority of non code switching points. CSPPL is likely to benefit more from improving monolingual perplexity than improving CSPPL. And here is the experimental result. The baseline model resulted in the worst perplexity. And we observed that learning with pseudo code switching sentences indeed help in code switching perplexity which is reasonable because the language model has seen code switching cases during training, even though the training data is synthetic. However, applying cosine distance and symmetric KL divergence constraint resulted in better perplexity than language model trained with pseudo code switching data. Using synthetic code switching text and applying constraint are not conflict to each other. So, we show two results with combined techniques above. As we can see, using sentence concatenation method and applying symmetric KL divergence resulted in the best perplexity. We further show the result with normalization technique. We can see the baseline is improved with normalization. With further applying techniques, no matter which kind of pseudo code switching text are used for training, Constraining projection metric can improve perplexity, especially using symmetric KL divergence as the constraint. 
And here are some PCA visualization results of the projection metric on a 2D plan. The leftmost one is the result of baseline model, which shows linear separable between two language spaces. The middle one is the result of using pseudo code switching data for training, which shows closer than the baseline model but without excess overlap. And the rightmost one is the result of applying symmetric KL divergence, which totally overlap. This visualization result corresponds to numerical result mentioned previously. That is, the closer the two spaces are, the lower the perplexity is. To analyze whether words with equivalent semantics in different languages are mapped together with the proposed approaches, we conduct experiments on unsupervised bilingual word induction. Given a semantic aligned word pair in different languages, such as today in English and Jingtian in Mandarin, we use their word representations to retrieve each other. For example, we want to retrieve word Y using word X. We compute the cosine similarity between VX and representations in W2 and check whether the word Y is retrieved. The precision at 10 are shown in the table. As we can see, applying proposed approaches helps on precisions. This suggests that constraint and normalization for code switching language modeling indeed enhance semantic mapping. So this is a brief introduction to our paper. Further details can be found in the paper and thank you for listening.